All right, forward stroke, Cheryl. So we're going to do, do two things. I'm going to talk you through it, and then you're going to do it with me. Don't expect to be perfect on your first time. Um, I'm, I'm going to give you some specific coaching, and that coaching, all of our viewers here are going to be able to see what you're doing right and what you're not doing right. And then, of course, you'll have the opportunity to come back at a later time and show the perfect forward stroke. <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah, I hope, I hope one day I get that. <laughs> you will, you will. Don't worry. Practice. All right. So, forward stroke. And every stroke from here on, we're going to talk about head, paddle, boat, and body. So, head on a forward stroke, pretty simple. Wherever your target is. So, if you're paddling, if we're paddling straight at the camera, your eyes are on the camera and you're moving that direction. Body, uh, body's weight is over the boat. But remember, the body leads every turn, right? Well, forward stroke, by the way, is not paddling straight. There's no such thing. A kayak doesn't go straight. A kayak only goes left, right, left, right, left, right. And as you know, beginners can't even paddle a boat straight, right? That's because they go left, right, left, left, wow, and they spin out. The ability to push the boat past the center line of the direction you're going with every stroke is what makes the boat go straight. So we're not paddling straight. We're just doing a series of left and right turns. So what does that look like? If we're paddling forward, and you're taking a right stroke, our body's wound up and pointed over the left side of the body or left side of the boat because we want the boat to turn left. When we paddle on the left, we want it pointed over the right side of the boat, and it's, so it's going to go back and forth, which also helps with our, our speed and our endurance because we are getting a larger muscle groups and we're getting a longer stroke because we're using torso, but we'll get into that a little bit more in the beginning in, in a minute. The next is your paddle position. We already talked about we don't want to be down here on your forward stroke. We want to have a fairly vertical paddle. Now, ideally, you'd paddle right in the middle of the boat, but the boat's in the way, right? So we have to paddle to the side. But the further away from the side you paddle, the more it turns the boat and less it pushes you forward. So our goal is going to be close to the boat. Top hand keeps the paddle vertical. Paddle's going to go in at the toes, and it's going to come out at the hip. So in at the toes out at the hip. So paddle's job, in at the toes, out at the hip. Let's try it. Okay, other side. In at the toes, out at the hip. Not bad. Good. All right, cool. Stop. All right, so that's in at the toes, out at the hip, and our, our goal is top hand controls the paddle so it's vertical. Now our next boat stays flat. But that's four things. Now we have a problem right now. The problem is we don't have enough random access memory to control head, paddle, boat, and body at the same time. It's kind of like, you know, doing this while chewing gum and something else at the same time. It's four things at once. You don't have enough brain power to control all those at the same time, so we're going to focus at one at a time. So the, the most challenging one people will have is getting torso in. Um, but let's for, make sure that you can do your torso. Drop your paddle. Okay, and just show all the way at the weight. All right, now look at Cheryl. Go do it again. Now notice that Cheryl's head is mo rotating with her torso like this. Now, of course, we want to look at our targets to so do the same thing. Try to keep your head straight. There you go, more torso. There, so she, right now she's able to control her head and her torso separately. Beautiful. All right, now let's see you do the same thing. Now your goal is to get the paddle in at the water. He gets in from twist, 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 twist. Okay, now straight back towards Craig. Craig is our cameraman, by the way. He's awesome. Happens to be Cheryl's husband also. Twist, twist. Okay, stop. Let me hold. Grab your paddle. Grab your paddle. Grab your paddle. Twist. We'll rotate the body. Now put the blade in. Twist. There you go. Other side. Unwind. Okay, I want to see it twist. Beautiful. All right, now see if you can paddle straight doing that. Go for it. Twist at the waist. All right, notice her head is rotating again and it's kind of looks very awkward. 
When you're learning the forward stroke, you have to break it down into one at a time. Paddle position. The first thing you're going to think about is in at the toes, out of the hip, with as vertical of a paddle as you can, meaning you're not down here. After you do that, your second thing is going to be rotating at the waist. Now again, uh, how do you know if you're rotating at the waist? We didn't really cover that, but you notice, you look at your life jacket. Your life jacket should be rotating against your spray skirt. If you're doing that, then you're rotating at the waist. Do not let your hands going in front of your face confuse you. A lot of people are like, oh, look at that torso rotation. And it's just your hands swinging in front of your face. All right, why do we care about torso rotation so much? I know you've heard it before, your friends have told you, and you may think you have torso rotation, um, but 99% of whitewater kayakers out there do not have it. And it is actually kind of a big deal. So, so Shale, uh, reach your paddle forward like this. Now twist at the waist and notice that your paddle goes forward a lot further. You get a lot longer vertical paddle. You get an extra 12 inches of stroke with torso. So watch, you're here, this is a straight arm with no torso. When you rotate at the torso, you get that much more stroke, but from there to there. But not only you get it on the front end, check it out, when you're on the back end, if, if you take your paddle out here, if you are for rotating the torso, you get, another, you get another foot on the back end too. So you go from here to here, you get a much longer stroke. And in fact, you get all this stroke without even bending your arm. That's a lot of, of, uh, a lot of movement of the boat, pulling the boat forward without even bending your arm. Now what does that also mean? It means that if you're not bending your arm and you're doing this, you're using the core, your stronger muscles, to pull the boat forward. They don't tire as fast. They're stronger than your arm is pulling. Uh, so it, it increases the, the amount of power you have. Uh, not only does it increase the amount of power you have, but it increases the speed you can pull back. So let's say you're pulling back like this. If you add the in there, boom, you get a lot more speed out of it as well. In fact, um, uh, I'm just finally learning how to throw my disc golf far. Um, so I used to throw it like this, Wah! but now full torso and unwind, the extra speed of rotating the torso makes the disc go way further. Same concept with the forward stroke. So how do you know whether you're rotating your torso? What do you look at? Life jacket. Yeah, life jacket. And it, so there you go. Let's see how it's rotated over there. That looks great. Now put in and unwind. Wah! Wait, look at it now. It's not wound up. There it is and unwind. So this very clear awkwardness that you're seeing right there, it's awkward, right? It is. It's, now she thinks it's awkward, probably she's thinking, man, this technique is awkward. And no, it's like you're, you're doing it all wrong. That's what's awkward. Um, it doesn't feel normal yet. So that's better. That's better. That's better. All right, she can be taught. This is awesome. Very cool. Forward stroke, by the way, is extremely challenging because you are using head, paddle, boat, and body at the same time. And it really does require you to free your torso up from your waist, something that's hard for people to do in the beginning. Do you know if you can do a, a good forward stroke with torso rotation? You can probably do a flat water cartwheel in a freestyle kayak. And if you can't do good torso rotation in your forward stroke, you're going to have a hard time doing a flat water cartwheel in a kayak and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and what I mean by that is being able to get torso in your forward stroke just shows that you can now control your body separate uh, from your hips. You can keep your head separate from your torso and you can use your paddle at the same time. J breaking those, those basic habits which are body stays squared up and head stays squared up is something that leads to all the, the, the additional skills after that. So that's forward stroke. Um, I'm going to give you one last tip. You don't need it yet, but you'll need it in the future once you get the torso down. And that is, what does it feel like when you're doing it? You're not doing, with a forward stroke in a whitewater boat, they de-accelerate quickly. So to be effective, you, do, you don't want to accelerate to four and a half miles an hour 
and then deaccelerate to 3.8 and then accelerate to 4 so you don't take a pause in between strokes. Otherwise, every time you do a stroke, you have to do it way harder to reaccelerate. Instead, think of your paddle stroke as being like a gear in motion. It just this, when one blade comes out, the other one goes in right away. Boom, boom, constantly pulling the boat forward. And the way you do that is when the one blade comes out, boom, you drop the other one in right away. Boom, boom, boom. Way to do it. It keeps the boat at even speed, so you're not accelerating and deaccelerating. Make sense? All right, that's enough for that for today. Advanced forward stroke we can do later. Uh, things to think about when paddling through waves and in white water. But what we're doing right here is going to get you free, your head, paddle, boat, and body all operating independently. All right, next we're going to get into turning strokes. Thank <laughs> you.